Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Back with another action figure slash action figure accessory review. And today I will be having a look at this Figma chestnut horse. And this is version 2 because they did do another one that is white. I just like the more classic chestnut looking horse. But there is the front of the box. This is numbered 490. Top of the box with a nice mystical looking horse stare on it. Just a horse ass on this side, horse head on this side. The back shows off this beautiful majestic pose you could have got if you bought both horses. I did not. And a couple other poses with their action figures. But there is the front again. I'm going to take a second and get this big old horse out of this box. And then we will have a closer look at it. Alright, the horse is out of the box. And my first thoughts on it from just getting it out of the box is it's not a real hard plastic. It's kind of rubbery. And there's a bunch of joints on the legs and it's kind of hard to get to stand up. Also, it has some good heft to it. It's got some weight to it. Feels nice and sturdy. Figma stuff is usually known to be a little bit small, but when I first got this horse and looked at it, I thought that's a pretty good size horse. So you should be able to pair this up with your Marvel Legends or just about any kind of 112 scale brand. I have three of the top ones over here I'm going to try in a minute. I have a Marvel Legends, a Mezco 112, and an SH Figuarts. So I'll try those in a second with this horse. There's a better look at the face of the horse. It's got that nice white stripe up its head. Nice shiny black eyes. I will say though, these straps feel very weak, so I wouldn't put much tension on those or that will probably break. Same with these. This horse has a lot of articulation throughout it. Like the tail is on a ball joint, so it will swivel and hinge on that ball joint and you can maneuver it to move any way you want, really. The cut on the legs does look a little odd in some places like that, but it does kind of go in and out so you can hide some of that. Then of course on your legs, they have that hinge joint there. Same down on the feet. Then your head feels like it's on a really big ball joint in there at the lower neck so you can get some good movement there the top of the neck at the head here is on another ball joint so you can get pretty decent movement there so you shouldn't have any problem getting those cool horse poses now i'm going to try to get some different figures on him we'll see how they pair up with the horse and first up we have a marvel legends there is shang chi riding a horse i tried this dr doom because I thought his armor would look cool on a horse. But with that skirt piece he has on, it just made it way too difficult to put on that horse. It just would not sit down on it. And you can see I couldn't get his feet in those stirrups. The articulation just don't give enough to really get his feet in there. But I'd say overall you could pull off some cool shots with Marvel Legends in this horse. So now we have a Mezco 112 Vigilante Daredevil on the horse. And I actually got his feet in the stirrups, and I don't know, he looks really good on there. I know he's a blind man, but let's be honest, he probably sees better than any of us. But so far, I would say he has fit the horse best. And last, we have the SH Figuarts Mark 85 Iron Man. It does have an aftermarket snapping hand and head on it. But he sits on the horse okay, but again, I couldn't get his feet in the stirrups. I actually popped his leg off at the hip trying. But so far, I think any brand you could pose up with this horse in a way that works. The horse is a good size, so even your smaller scaled 112 figures and your larger scaled 112 figures, you should be able to fudge in with this. For a Figma figure, the price wasn't too bad. And I think a lot of people will be able to get a lot of cool shots with this horse. Well, that is my look at the Figma chestnut horse. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Now get off of me.